Alright, I'm at the John Deere dealership and whoo, man, this is a heavy load. I'm trying to load my new planner here. Oh, very carefully. Put it on my uh, trailer. Ooh, very, well, that's as far as I get to go, I guess. talk about just barely on that trailer Woo, yeah it's teetering I'm gonna have to baby it all the way home uh, oh don't hit anything very carefully Wow yep talk about teetering All right, let's get this thing home. Wait a second. What the heck is that? Hmm. Hmm. What is a case doing at a John Deere dealership? I just gotta look at that. I gotta look. Let's let's back this thing up here. We're gonna back this thing up very carefully. Probably should have been paying attention. Ooh, oh, 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 almost lost it there. I need, I've been trying to upgrade my plant tractor and I really wanted a John Deere. Let's see, where, oh, that, I guess it's up front there. Let's see. All right, we'll leave that right there. I really, look at this case this is just a case at a John Deere dealership hmm wonder if I can get a good deal on this old Magnum let's see it MX 285 pretty nice interior hmm I wonder it's kind of odd that the John Deere dealership has this new of a tractor <laughs> Is this about a 285 horse? Almost perfect for a planting tractor. I mean, I was at the John Deere dealership because I wanted a John Deere, a new planting tractor. Hmm, I wonder if a uh, squad traded in his uh, 4440. Looks a lot like his. This little uh, garden tractor too. So I, I had my eye I was looking actually at this uh, 7930 I mean this is another good tractor but the only thing bad about it I think it might just not have enough junk in the trunk to lift that uh, three-point planter up they really put the armor on these back tires for us too that's you know that's a step above that the John Deere dealership does for you here I'm just joking but uh, I just don't think this 7930 has enough weight to it. I wouldn't mind having this little thing on the farm just for a little chore tractor. Might be an option. Another 4440 was a little, but right now we're really looking for a planting tractor. I don't want to get too involved, too crazy. We still have our 8100 at the farm. Hmm. I don't really... This uh, 4960 is another option, but I don't know why. I just don't like front wheel drives on my planting tractor. That is an option. I'm going to see the sticker price on this Magnum. Hopefully I can steal red off of Greenville here. Johnson's implements. Well, I got a pretty good deal off of it, so they, uh, this is obviously just a trade-in they wanted to get rid of. Yep, new planting tractor right there. Hopefully it, uh, it works alright with my new John Deere planter here. Very carefully go over these train tracks. Coffee, where's my coffee? Oh, oh I think I hear the semi here. Alright, I'm coming, jeez. Yeah, 
that's right, Gina. Bark at him. Has no patience whatsoever. All right, let's get the chain off here before he freaks out. Pull that off. Unload our magnum. All right, it is unchained. Now I just need a single hem to start tilting the trailer. There we go. Yep. All right, now that's done. Let's jump in here quick. Ugh. Jump on here. Uh, all right. All right. Got a clear path back. All right, we got our uh, planter right up here. It's uh, it's still on the trailer. I'm I'm a little bit curious on how exactly we are going to get this thing unloaded. It was easy at the dealership, but I wasn't really thinking like. Yeah, see, uh, if I back this up, and my three-point hitch just doesn't reach that far up. That might be an issue. We're going to have to uh, think about this. Scratch our heads a little bit. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Don't think our bobcat is uh, big enough. Yeah. We still have it borrowed from uh, the squad. I don't know. I really don't want to give this thing back. Maybe I can ask if I could buy it. Don't think the 4050. Uh, I really don't want to put that much weight on the front loader. Hmm. Hmm. How can we do this? How can we do... Okay. Got an idea. A little bit of head scratcher. All right. So uh, this is pretty dry right now thanks to our dam we just put in. See that video right up there? Also, while I'm at it, you know, if you could like the video, it t helps me out a ton. And two, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of role play series. I have a lot of multiplayer series, a little bit of live streams, everything you'd like to see. Check me out. Just put that subscribe, hit that little bell, and you get notifications every time they come around. All right, so the idea is I'm going to back the trailer up right here. Get that magnum put up here. Ooh, that's going to have to be just right. That's going to be a little tricky. Tricky-icky. Ah, let's see if we can get her done, though. This trailer is a little bit top-heavy, so I really need to uh, be careful when I'm driving it. Uh, that's going to be tough. Hopefully I don't get high centered when I'm pulling through. New Chevy, don't let me down, Duramax. You can do her. Start this girl up. Alright, very carefully. Going to try to get through that ditch the hard way. Alright, going to pull it. Uh-oh. This might not work. What is it? Contemplating this. Ooh. Ooh. That, that's going to be... I'm going to have to adjust my three-point a lot. Uh, really was... I wasn't expecting the ditch to be this deep. Ha. Huh. I think that might be a little bit l about level. Oh man. Maybe I'll just go a little bit farther. Trying to level that out. Ugh. All right, that might work. That might work right there. I'm gonna have to lower that three point off of far. And hopefully I can lift it up from there. Gonna be some, uh, definitely some, a uh, lot of turning around here. So I gotta get sideways on this uh, bridge. If I can carefully back it up without hitting it. I think I didn't turn. The right, gotta 
flip that tire just right so I get leveled up. Just about. All right, back her up right here. Now I gotta lower that three point. Oh wow, we got her hitched. Got her hitched. We don't have that top hitch just yet. Uh, gonna have to uh, hopefully bend it up, and I might have to get it like a come along or something. Maybe a loader and kind of pick up the back tires. Just get it just about right to lift that thing up. All right, here's a moment of truth. Lift that up. Oh yeah, just look at that. Just cleared her. I think I'm gonna clear the bridge. I gotta drive this thing very, oh, very, almost ran off that bridge very carefully off this bridge we are off the bridge uh oh well I don't know if I can uh, actually get between here Do I fit uh, just oh, 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 oh just barely fit between there Wow, this planter is wide. Now we gotta unfold this thing. This thing unfold. Yeah. Whoo, wow, that's a lot of weight on a three-point hitch. I've always liked three-point uh, planters like this, so. I just got a little bit of room here for my... Uh, Bobcat or squads Bobcat. I really want to make it my Bobcat. I'm hopefully get some of them seed my seed left over from last year. I still haven't got my shipment in for this year. But we got a little bit of seed over here. So I gotta get my trailer hooked up here. Get the other trailer undone. Put some seed in here and hopefully get to plant. I didn't notice this, but just that back uh, rim is on the back here. Just barely. I don't know if this old, uh, I don't know if Dirty Max here can pull it out. Let's see. Uh-oh. Come on, Dirty. Oh, man, my front end. I don't, I'm not getting enough traction here. 4050 to the rescue. I'm just gonna give it a little tap to the back of that, uh, trailer and hopefully, uh, help them out. Alright, gotta give it a little love tap. Try to push it up there. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Alright, push it. Try. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull it out here now. Uh, come on, come on. Drag it out. Come on. We got this. Drag her. You can do it. Oh man, oh, oh wow. Finally broke loose right there. Yeah, I guess I can use this. I'll just actually use this for the gooseneck. All right, let's see if we can hook up to our uh, trailer here. Very carefully drive in here. All right. Got her hooked up here. Pull this out here. Ooh, very close there. Ooh, yeah. That was close. Start this up. All right. Don't want this bucket. Make sure we don't hit our new planner. Ooh. Yep. Zero turn at its best. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I squeeze in here? That's gonna be the question. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Gotta get the forks out. No, 
Oh, 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 just barely, barely got in there. All right, do got some seed in here, I didn't even know. All right, let's get the sassy massy forks here. All right, put that uh, pallet on right there. Very nice. I don't think we can squeeze by that harvester again. Hoping I can get out with the pallet right here. You know, thinking about it, I might not even need that trailer. Maeda jumped the gun a little bit right there. And are we gonna squeeze through here? Man, this is like the hardest. I really need to open up my garage better here. All right, I think we got everything done. Right now, now all we have to do is uh, fill up our planter here with some little corn seeds. Hopefully, do a little test run. Start this girl up. Raise her up here. Load her up. We're just going into the field just adjacent to us. Not very far. Start doing the headland pass around this field here. We're gonna no-till. It's one of the reasons why we're getting this new planter. Is we are going to do some more no-till this year. See, it's running pretty well here. Man, is that cool? planter quiet compared to my other ones. Whew. Pretty happy with this uh, magnum so far. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't know. I, I'm thinking I'm still going to replace that deer with something else. Uh, we got, we took on some more rented grounds. So we got more ground to uh, plant and harvest. I'm uh, thinking another uh, deer on the farm. I don't know exactly what. You guys will have to let me know what deer do you think we should get on the farm if we're going to get another one really want to replace the 81 just got started planting our corn uh, we don't have very much done but we're gonna call it quits and get a long day tomorrow thank you all for watching and I will see you later over here in the 2000s thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time Hold down uh oh uh oh is that oh man we're in trouble now squad wanted his bobcat back uh oh i better help him load it up so i'm not in big trouble if you didn't know you could save a ton on apex gaming pcs just use the code squad get a uh, customized water cooled uh, non sauna box pc work out great for you Trust me.